Welcome to episode three of Developer TV. I'm your host, Dan Young, and have we got a show for you. We'll have Brooke Anderson coming at you from the windy Wellington waterfront. We'll have Adam and Nick joining us in the studio to talk about the latest API releases and also a little bit about their software development process. We sent Sid off to uh, Google, the Mountain View office, to talk about Google Apps for Work, and we'll have an awesome video of a CAN machine. Oh. All right, let's see what Brooke's been up to. Roll tape. Always wanted to say that. Hey, it's Brooke from Developer TV here in Wellington to give you an update on the Zero ecosystem. Now, if you're wondering, what is a Zero ecosystem? What are we up to? What's new? Well, check out our Zero blog, zero.com slash blog. We give you updates on what's happening in the Zero ecosystem every month. One of the ecosystem updates we give on the Zero blog is who is our ecosystem partner of the month. Now at the start of the year we had Insightly, then we had Crunchboards, last month we had Vend, and I'm here to announce our new ecosystem partner of the month. So you can get a drum roll. It's Shopify. Shopify is one of the fastest growing add-ons in our ecosystem. They have a great team that are incredibly responsive to feedback. Shopify were recently um, at Xerocon London where they featured on our retail panel. And one great thing they've done is brought Zero data into the Shopify app so that our customers can easily see how their finances are tracking both in Shopify and in Xero. So in the last month, we've welcomed 11 new ecosystem partners. A big shout out to those who have built these integrations and got them certified. The 11 partners that we've welcomed to our ecosystem are Dry Run, Cushion, Kinex, Pioneer, DataClick, Syngency, Razor, Happy HR, Capify, Roster Planet, and Taxify. A massive welcome to you all. And if you want to keep in the loop with who's new in our ecosystem, again, please check out our Xero blog where we update it every month on what's new and also who's deep in their integration with Xero. So that's a wrap of what's new in the Xero ecosystem for this month. Next month we'll hopefully be talking to a few of our ecosystem partners and giving you more insight into what it takes to thrive in the Xero ecosystem. If you've got, any, if you've got feedback or anything you want uh, me to cover in the next episode, please reach out to me on Twitter, at Brooktania. It's not at Brookatania, which a few people think it is. It's at Brooktania, and I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Okay. Thanks a lot, Brooke. Great to see you in the field. Speaking of partners, we have two awesome segments coming to you from San Jose today. We've got Sid talking with Google about Google Apps for Work. Take it away, Sid. Thanks a lot. I'm here at Google uh, with Birkan. Thanks for having us down today. Mm, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for making the trip. Why don't we just start with like, you know, who you are and, and what you're doing here at Google. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So my name is Birkan. I'm originally from Istanbul, Turkey. I started working at Google from the Dublin office five years ago. And then three years ago, I moved to San Francisco. For the last two years, I've been working as an ISV integrations manager under the Google Apps for Work organization. And basically, I work with our strategic ISV partners, such as yourself, Zero, to help build product integrations on top of Google Apps products. So for example, if you have a business application and if you would like to integrate your product with Gmail, Google Drive, Calendar, Docs, I'm here to help. Nice, nice. So um, we have lots of developers in our audience and uh, I'm sure they would love to know, like, what can you do if you want to integrate with these apps for work? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Google Apps for Work product suite is very extensible through powerful REST APIs and mobile SDK libraries. Zero is actually a great partner of ours. We've done a great job in terms of building magical product integrations on top of Google Apps products. And I can actually give a couple of specific examples. So if you're a developer, you can use Gmail API to extract users' email conversations from their Gmail accounts. This is actually very similar to the Zero's integration with Gmail. And you can also use Calendar API to access users' calendar events. You can check their free and busy times. And you can also create calendar events which might be relevant to your application. You can also use Drive API to store your application's output into users' Google Drive accounts. And on the flip side, you can also enable users to upload or attach documents from their Google Drive accounts into your application. You reckon it's too long? Oh, I reckon it's okay. I did give it a trim the other day. All right. Oh, 
We're rolling. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot, Sid. It was great. Now we'll be back a little bit later on in the show to talk about how you can get your app on the Google App Marketplace. But right now, we have both Adam and Nick joining us in the studio to talk about the latest Zero API and the release desk. Welcome to the show, fellas. Great to have you here. Adam, you're pretty much the main event on Developer TV, but Nick, you're like what I like to call in the trade a virgin. What's it like to be on camera? Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, Dan. Um, Adam said something about alcohol and ballet tickets. Mm. All right, Adam, so what's new in the Zero API? Cheers, Dan. Thanks for having me again, and uh, thanks for this sweet microphone. Uh, I'll keep it short so we can uh, cut to our honored guest, but uh, in the API this month, or updating from last episode, uh, purchase orders functionality, all fully live now, um, ship the updates. Uh, about a month ago now, so um, plenty of people using it. I um, encourage everyone else who's interested to get on and use it. Uh, coming soon, online invoice URL. You can add that to the uh, accounting API, so anyone who's looking to make use of Zero's online invoice functionality um, can now get in on that action. And we're also beavering away on the fixed assets API, so uh, working closely with that team to sort of get that exposed. Um, so, yeah, keep, uh, keep an eye out for news on that. <laughs> Knocking it out of the park with API. Awesome. Now, one of the questions we received from fans this month, Nick, is what are the tools and technologies we're using in the API? The, the <clears throat> That's a good question, Dan. Uh, the most important aspect of how we develop the software for the API is our approach to quality. So if you can imagine like hundreds of millions of API calls coming in per month from the thousands of developers we've got, uh, even a small mistake is like a really big splash of confusion afterwards. So we've fully dedicated our team to the test-driven development approach. And now some video. It all starts with a conversation between the developer and the quality engineer. The quality engineer talks to the developer about what automated tests need to be included as part of the development cycle. The developer then writes tests and code to fulfill the requirements. The developer continues the cycle of red-green refactoring until all the features are complete. The quality engineer will make sure we run integration tests, acceptance tests, regression tests, and my personal favorite, load tests. Once all the tests pass, the code is promoted to release and deployed through our continuous deployment system to production. And hey presto, a new version of the API delivered. That's fascinating stuff, Nick. Less about the API now. When are we gonna form this ZZ Top tribute band? Um, well, Dan, I've told you once already, it's ZZ Top. Um, but also, I'm never going to do that again. Not after my recent experience in the Vinger Boys cover tribute band with you. Have you got that tattoo removed yet? <laughs> shh, shh. Don't tell anyone. All right, cool. Thanks a lot for being on the show, guys. It's been awesome talking to you. Um, really appreciate it. And blah, 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 blah. Now, we're always amazed at the use cases for our API, sometimes used in ways we never intended it to be. The Pepsi hack video was pretty much a proof of concept to prove that you could hack anything to talk to the Zero API. This video has been brought to you by Flow Online Accounting, a little uh, marketing design uh, agency called BERT and Lee Hackspace in the UK. Check it out.
That is so cool. It kind of demonstrates that there are infinite possibilities with the Internet of Things and Zero. I also love a good can machine. Our one out the back is pretty much like a robot though. It kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, so right now it's time to go to the final segment of the show. It's the second half of the interview with Google and they're talking about building apps and how to get them on the Google App Marketplace. Now when you say um, apps, are you talking about uh, like a marketplace? Is that how um, customers go and discover these apps that are built? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a Google Apps Marketplace where your application can get access to 2 million paid businesses using Google Apps Forward globally. Neat. So. Uh, there's a developer out there watching this video mm -hmm. today, and uh, they're super excited. Um, where do they go to get started, and, yeah. and, and where can they find the information they need? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, if you're a developer, as a first step, I highly recommend visiting developers.google.com, which is full of great documentation about our APIs. Um, you will find guides, sample codes, which might give you an idea about where to possibly start. And once you're ready to go, you can visit Google Developer Console to create your developer profile and enable Google Apps APIs. Once you're ready to publish your integration, once you're ready to launch your integration, don't forget to publish your application to Google Apps Marketplace. We've just mentioned this, because by publishing your application to Google Apps Marketplace, your application can get visibility across 2 million paid businesses using Google Apps Forward globally. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today and talk about this. And we have a going away gift for you. Oh, thank you. Your very own Zero developer t-shirt, limited edition. Fantastic. There you go. Wear Thank it you so with much. pride. I will absolutely wear it with proud. My teammates will be jealous of this. <laughs> and back to you. That's great, Sid. Thank you for that. Burkhan's promised me that he's going to take me out for lunch when I visit the Google Mountain View office. I think I might have a go on the slide and wear one of those Noogle caps with the propellers. It's pretty exciting stuff. Anyway, that's a wrap from us, guys. It's great to have you here again. You've been great. I've been Dan Young. Say hi to your motherboard for me. See you next time. Hey. History tells us that uh, six minutes is the longest people actually stay on the video for. But congratulations for getting to the end. If you want to see more of me, then take a look at our previous episodes and subscribe down below. Cheers. And blah, 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 blah.